Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Surviving Mars. I'm going to build this third dome anyway. Wasn't entirely sold on it before, but now I am. I think we just save a space for university. Sector scan. And the idea will be that uh, we will put one in later. We can't afford it now, but we definitely need the farms. And who knows what else we'll need. We can't build anything else right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we we need the we need the space. We absolutely need the space. I really wish we, we could do the all the uh, the oval dome. That'd be awesome. But a hundred polymers just it's outside of our reach right now. Eventually, eventually we can totally do that. But right not right now. Well, assuming we live, I guess. Which who knows? All right, step up to speed three. Okay, we need metals. Where are we gonna find metals at? Hey, look, metals. A bunch of them right here. Tons of them in it. All right, so you grab these and then bring them back to base. Thank you. We done looking for? Yeah, we don't have any anomalies right now. All right, well, just keep looking around. I do love that everything's basically flat, though, so we are never going to have an, a altitude problem. Just go where we're needed. We are going to have a money problem, though. Without shuttles, well, I mean, that's the other main reason, right? Yeah, the thing is, this research station, research lab requires electronics. I'm going to put in a second shift, and hopefully that helps. Cold wave so, I don't know if we have the people to make that work. Yeah, I mean, I could assign you to another shift. Oh, no, there we go. There we go. Somebody came in. Okay, good. That should help a little bit. This, at least, is still a good idea for farms, if nothing else. If all we do in here is put in farms, that would help us a lot. Right now, it seems like the hydroponic bays are kind of sort of working, but like I just said, resources are low. So we'll uh, we'll make that work. You guys have a heavy load, and I'm sorry about that. We need more people, really, is what it comes down to. We need more engineers. Well, more people, again, is what the stone is for. Yeah, maybe we can put in, like, an apartment complex or something. Might not be a horrible idea. At least then we have more people just in the dome. That'll especially help when the specialists die off. Because we're going to need more non-specialists to do specialist jobs. Now this is also going to need water and power. But we can't make any more water right now. I mean, you're pumping, which is good, but... That's going to decrease pretty damn fast. Especially we start farming. Hmm. <laughs> well, the hydroponic farms are nice and all, but the big farms, I think, do more. I think once this farm, I would say I put a farm there. Once the farm makes its first harvest, I think that's when we start retiring these. Yeah, maybe. Have just like one or two as backup. We definitely don't need four when we have the big farms, right? Maybe. Wow, two souls for that. Okay. But look at that. Wow, you can really tell. <laughs> really tell the heater works. Okay. Glad we made the heaters, actually. Should be another one up here. Yep, big old giant empty spot. Okay. Which means I think you're just barely in it. I think one shift is good, but I think it should be the... Yeah, it should be the last shift, not the first shift. Because this is where all the people are working and wake. Do this at night. We're only going to have the one shift. Eventually, when we have shuttles, we're going to need more than that. But I'm hoping we get hydroscopic generators... At some point. 84% on what? 
we were working on automated storage. Right, right, right. Okay, that's not as important. We'll get it working. Okay, I think we have... Yeah, we'll get the metal, we'll get the concrete. Okay, yeah, we can do this. That dome's gonna be built. We're gonna need passages, of course, but... And everything, of course, using slightly more power, but the batteries still look like they're fully going. And, of course, the uh, power generation is going to be boosted to, and during the daytime. Scanned. So I think we're good. It's our first cold wave since we've expanded our grid. We're just waiting. We'll just wait and see. How are you doing, man? Okay, good. You're coming back. Good. You should even power up. Sector scan, but no... Yeah, nothing to research. Alright, well. Nine up there, and then we'll loop down this way, and then we'll start exploring south. Vehicle battery low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can take care of himself. It's fine. He's probably gonna go charge up right now, isn't he? Yep. There he goes. Alright. As expected. But even during a cold wave, we're 96 over. That's great news. Okay, great. Then we don't need to worry about it. The only thing that worries me right now is our electronics. Our metal is ticking up. Our polymers are slowly ticking up, but it's getting there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're good on everything except electronics. Okay, so... Shipment of electronics, maybe? We also need moisture evaporators, but I'm really hoping that our research will reveal the technology to be able to build our own, so we don't need the prepads. I'd prefer not to ship anything else from Earth except for passengers. Colonists, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, I'd really prefer not to. We only need a passage here. This is pretty close. We got all the polymers we need. Just the concrete and the metals, then. Oh, this guy has managed to fill all the stump rock spots. Alright, hold on. Let me fix that. There we go. Much more for you there. And another batch for you. Oh, can't do that one. Uh, there. And there. How are you guys doing? Three there, one there. Working by yourself, man. That just cannot be healthy. You guys are still on heavy load, and I do apologize, but we do need these. Well... Yeah, maintenance is only one out of six. You know what? I'm going to drop you guys down. I'd rather you guys be healthy, and we just to increase this slower. Yeah, I mean, that's not as fast as I would like, obviously, but... It's better than you guys going crazy, right? That's my thinking. And you know what I'm also thinking is replacing one of these with an apartment building so that we can get more workers in these areas. We'd only do that though when this is built. We build maybe another apartment building here, then we empty this, and then build an apartment building. Yeah, okay, we can do that. And then we can start building, bringing in more people. And I think they have to live here to work on these two. I think that's how that works. Well, they can also work here to live to work here, or live here to work here. Hey, cold wave's done. We made it through with full batteries, no less. That feels pretty damn good. So cold waves are no longer going to be a concern. They still need to be like something in the back of our mind when you keep in, uh, just keep going with, but otherwise I think we're good. So grab everything here, including the polymers. I saw the polymer there. I ah, did not escape my notice. Research complete. You know what? Put it down. Yeah, I'll put it up here. Automated storage is done, which will help us with farm storage and maybe even mechanical parts storage, because that's filling up awfully fast, isn't it? 
which is awesome. I'll go with automated storage done. Did that reveal anything? Ha ha ho! I see we have ourselves some shovels here. Okay, so... That's not... Yeah, I would say productivity training is still pretty damn important. Hydroscopic vaporators are still pretty damn important. We need the shuttle, so... Sterling generator, less so... Well, we need something in the physics tree, right? We're gonna do anything in the physics tree. I think it's gotta be... I think it's gotta be low-G turbines. No, no, no. It's gotta be subsurface Sterling generator, rather. Both these require polymers. Of course they do. Of course they do. But sure. So we have something in the robotics tree, we have something in the engineer's tree, we have a biotech tree. I would love another breakthrough, but sadly not possible. We have a social tree. The only thing we don't have is in the engineering tree, so more passengers? Oh no, sustainable architecture sounds good. Let's do that. Wow, 4,500, huh? It's gonna take us a little while. Sector scanned. No resources. You know, fuck you 285. We have all the metal we need, now it's just a matter of getting the concrete here. Well... Oh, no, my transport's busy elsewhere. Alright, never mind. I was gonna say, transport could totally bring stuff over here, but that's not gonna happen. Okay. The drones can make it happen. They're, uh, they're working hard. Don't even worry about it. They can get it built. It's gonna be a little while, but it can totally happen. Yeah, drone heavy load, no kidding, it's this guy right here, isn't it? No, he's actually only on media load. He's on heavy load. Can't be you. But since this guy is on medium load, how about we ship some of these guys over here, huh? Anything that helps. Okay, so that leaves you with only three, right? No, four. Okay, so a couple of you guys are already working, which I appreciate. Thank you. Yeah, there's all four, and sure enough, they're just sitting there. And guess what, then? That means you get only three. Here you go. Sign down there. It's funny, because I reassigned a bunch of guys from here, and now I'm reassigning them back. Well, not the same ones, I suppose, but still. Okay, good. So you're shipping concrete over. Thank you. This waste rock needs to be turned into concrete as soon as we can, and I don't know what one that is. I think that's physics. It's pretty far on the physics tree, though, depending on how the physics tree is arranged. Resources are low. So we'll just have to wait for it. Oh, hey, look at that. Resources are low. Thirty resources. I mean, thirty food. You think would be enough, but we do have fifty people. Thirty food is basically like a day and a half of food, I think. Fortunately, hydro are doing okay. As soon as we trade over to farms, it's going to be a lot easier, guys. Just hold out. Just hold out. It's almost there. We're like, halfway there on the concrete we need, and then we're good. I think we're going to need a shipment of electronics. Okay, well, that's why we've been saving our cargo rocket. Let's do it. I want all the electronics. However many you can spend, and we can spend on 20. We don't have very much in the way of cash, do we? That's it. That's all we can carry. That's all we can afford, really. We can carry a lot. That's all we can afford. If that's just gonna have to do it, then we don't have a choice. Launch it. Okay, that brings it to 39. That's sustainable, theoretically. We get a shuttle, we can start making another dome. The trouble mainly is the drone hubs. The drone hubs cost a lot to build. They car for they don't cost anything to maintain. But in order to get down there, it's gonna cost one, two, so that's sixteen. Yeah. That's sixteen just to get down there. Not to mention however much the shuttles themselves cost. 
It's gonna be tricky. It's gonna be tricky. Once we're down here and we have one of these going, we're golden. At that point, it's just building up resources, then we can do it. But it's gonna be tricky to get down here. Especially with the maintenance currently just eking away at this. And we have no way of building anything. Well, theoretically, we work on the social tree. Somewhere in here is patents. Somewhere in here is copyrights. And once we do those, that'll help. We don't know where that is yet, and unfortunately, scanning here is not revealed anything yet. What we could do, which could speed things up a little bit, is if we build a scanner. So I build another sensor tower. I don't know if, remember if this needs to be near power or not. Yes, it does. Okay. No, it says power zero. Okay, well, then that means it doesn't need to be maintained anymore, so just put it here, I guess. That'll help. All right, if we put in a cluster of them, give me two. It's some metal, right? Oh, metal and electronics, of course it is. But that will help speed up our scanning. And then it'll also help eventually when we get deep scanning, that'll help too. So, yeah, just give me three basic, and this makes three. So that'll help. Um, I don't remember how much it helps, but I don't remember if it's like speeds it up by two or by three or Sector whatever it is, scan. three times, but it'll help. Make things move a little bit faster, maybe we get more research revealed. We can send our rovers out in the world. Where are you, Research by the way? Research complete. Okay, so you come over here and you get charged. Productivity training is up. Great. I forget which one that is. Oh, that's engineer's geologist. That's actually really good. That means we should be making more polymers. Assuming you guys are not just doing nothing. So you need five residential slots there, two there. So that's seven across the board there. Yeah, if I build an apartment here, that'll help fill up these two. Oh, hey, look. Our dome's being made. Awesome. We're going to need passages, of course. No less support in the dome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. We know. Okay, so give me passages. Build one from there to there. And from there to there. All right. As soon as you guys are done building that, it's only concrete. Should be easy enough to do. We have tons of this stuff. Actually, 231 somethings. Actually, yeah, that's tons. Kilograms would make more sense, but I guess it'd also be really small if it was kilograms. You'd have to really stretch the material out to be kilograms. It's got to be... Per ton actually would make a lot more sense, wouldn't it? Maybe it would. Maybe it would. Oh, we need moxies. Build me another moxie. Fly support. Here we go. Right here. That's good. Um, yeah, right there's good. Oxygen and back. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Because we're at zero right now, that is not encouraging. Well, okay. Three to three two point five, but still. Water production, I would love to increase, but we already talked about that. This, at least, we can do something with. The water, we can't help right now. Okay, so the passages are up, or one of the passages are up. Let's go and build a farm here. People can work here. They can be moved over from a passage, so not too worried about that. Actually, could this could just be the farm dome. Maybe. It means a water reclamator tower in the middle would be good. Spire, whatever. Do we have, have a spire tech right now? Just the water reclamator, yeah. That's actually not too expensive. Hey, no polymers, that's good. No electronics, also good. Or no, it does take polymers. Ten polymers, right there. Big giant letters. <laughs> Can't freaking see. I don't know what the hell my problem is. Okay. I and mean, the farm shouldn't take much. We should probably build an apartment building. We need at least one apartment building in here. Here you go. We're building there. And then we'll knock this down and build an apartment building there, too. What does this take to build? 
six polymers. Of course, we keep working on polymers all the time. Every day. Okay, so there you go. Eventually people will work here. We don't know how or why. Okay, so we need to build up the soil a little bit. Potatoes will knock it down again. Wheat's pretty good, too. Okay, sure, we'll, we'll knock it down with potatoes, build it back up again with soybeans. It'll be hovering around 50% the whole time. Not great, definitely, but not horrible. You were by yourself. That's worrying, because you're a non-specialist. I'm going to take... Oh, we have non-specialist. Yeah. Because our botanists are starting to age out of the system. Yep, yep, yep. That's why I wanted a university, but it's too late now. Okay. Yep, can't help, really help with that. The playground helps with the children getting the right perks, but we don't have the, uh, the traits because we don't have a university for it. Okay. So we just leave an empty slot for university and just wait for it then. I mean, we'll eventually be able to get what we want when we can build shuttles. Yeah, I mean, that's all, that's all we can do. And we don't have nearly enough people working in the polymer factory anymore. I don't have, yeah, no restrictions on this. We just don't have enough people? It's gotta be it. gotta be it. We just need more people. Alright, we can call it another shuttle of people. This should theoretically be built by then? Yes. Yes, it will. Okay, so let's call in people. Passenger rocket. You know what? I'll just take anybody. I... Well, actually, let me review. You know what? We have to get used to it. This might be a bad idea. They're definitely not going to work as well as the specialists, obviously. But for now, I will take an entire load of non-specialists. Is that a good idea? It's not a great idea, to be sure. I don't know if it's a good one either. But I guess we'll find out. Electrostatic dust storm approaching. Oh, joy. Electrostatic dust storm. As soon as the apartment complex gets built, we definitely house those people. Okay, yeah, this is going to be built. It's going to be tight. Polymer factory needs to have people in it. And it does, it's just some of those polymers are going towards, you know, other things. Okay. As soon as this guy gets his first... Yeah, look at that. That'll be like 32 food just straight off the bat. That'll be fantastic. Okay, assuming I do knock down these hydroponic bays, what are we gonna put there? Stores? Stores require extra materials that we don't have, like polymers, or electronics, or who knows what else. I guess they could just sit empty for a while, or we could build in the uh, the comfort. Actually, I don't think I have any of these in comfort. Yeah, I do not. Well, it takes concrete. We should definitely use it. We can garden. Gardens are beautiful. We should definitely have gardens. Oh, that's actually... I don't know where that tree came from. But okay. Uh, small gardens then. Right there. And small gardens here too. And... I don't know. Research complete. Hydroscopic factory. Is that improves? Yes, water production. Okay, so it doesn't happen automatically. I wish it did, but it doesn't. Now this is available, and of course it costs polymers. We just get people working in the freaking polymer factory. That'd be fantastic. Could we make that happen, please? I'm not really in control of it. All I can do is make the jobs available. I can't make people do those jobs. I can select people and say, hey, go do a job, but they won't stick to it. Sector scan. You're by yourself. Anomaly I'm worried found. about this. Uh, oh, hey, anomalies. Anomalies, that's actually great. Where is it? All the way down there. Okay. Go see what... Oh, I think that's a breakthrough. 
No. I think it would be, but it's not. Hey, electronics. Sure, drop that down. And, uh, you're not going to be able to leave during the dust storm, but that should be okay. You might be able to leave just before. Assuming how that works. Assuming we can get you loaded in time. I don't know, man. The fuel's all the way up there. Every once in a while, the drones surprise me with how efficient they are. On the other hand, they disappoint me on the regular with how inefficient they are. So, it could go either way. How the scan's going? Okay, definite progress. Um, how about this? We'll make six, seven, eight, nine down here because that's a little bit closer, and hopefully that reveals something. Could happen. Well, maybe. I mean, it doesn't only need thirty fuel. It's totally Resources possible. Resources are low. You still have four electronics on board. Why is that? It's probably because we don't have enough space for it. Anomaly analyzed. Meteor incoming. Cable fault reported. Okay. Pipe leak reported. And meteor hit. Done without life support somehow. No, two. One of the buildings not working is probably... I don't know what that was. Oh, it's the subsurface heater. Why the subsurface heater? All the subsurface heaters require water. Oh, I mean, they'll get fixed, I think. Yeah, I mean, the pipe leaks are definitely a problem. The meteor hit around here. Okay, so just fix that up. It's, wow, that's a lot of stuff venting in the atmosphere there. Fortunately, our... Uh, yeah, we can't really do much about this right now. I mean, it'll get fixed. It'll just take a bit. They're working on it. They're working on it. Did happen near our drone hub, which may be good. Drone load heavy for you, huh? Sorry about that. Um, I still don't know what to do about that. And of course, the dust storm. Do have drones out life support, theoretically. No? We good? Still some pipes, not the ideal, they are being fixed. We have the metal to fix them. Alright, good, good, good. Hey, the apartment's done. Guess what you guys are gonna do? You're gonna move. Uh, that is where our engineers are living. Oh, we have engineers living all over the place. Well, guess what? You're no longer living there. I'm gonna scrap that. And then we're gonna build another apartment complex. You guys have to go live in the apartment complex Cable down here. Reported. We'll repair it. We'll definitely make this happen, but it's going to be slow for you guys. Sorry about that. It is better for everyone involved, I think. Yeah, cable faults. Okay. Okay. Electrostatic is a problem, but we have decent power generation regardless. Pipe leak reported. Yeah, the dust storms do cause a lot of maintenance necessary for these. So I could probably use a more efficient layout of our pipes. Huh. It won't doom us necessarily, but it is going to be annoying. And yeah, it's just, it's just how it's going to work. You can't launch, can you? No, you have full fuel, but I was busy dealing with the pipe leak stuff, and I wasn't paying attention to you. Sorry about that. Sector scanned. Cable fault reported. Pipe leak reported. So, do the subsurface heaters go all the time, or are they only needed for certain things? You have insufficient water now, so I'm guessing that means you go all the time. We can drop your service area by quite a bit. You just need to be around that. But I don't know if that actually helps us at all. Some sort of cedar party. There you are. Yeah, just around the heater. That's all I need. But it doesn't really decrease too much there. If I raise this up. Okay, so at a certain point, it uses more power. 
but it doesn't use any less water. Idle extractor, huh? Alright. Found out sooner or later. Sure what you can. Cable fault reported. And then blow it up. This is some bad news bears. We need water. Well, obviously right now, right now we need water, but later on... Okay, so let's see. Somehow the water tower is increasing. Oh, because it doesn't have enough sword. Yeah. Well, it starts supplying the grid at 7.5, so it doesn't actually... It's not supplying the grid right now. Okay, so everyone's kind of suffering for water. Because the electrostatic dust storm is going for freaking ever. We need more. We need a water tank. That's what we need. Water tank just takes... What? They're not going to help us now, obviously, but... Yeah, metal and concrete, we have... Both of those things in surplus, so here you go. That'll help. Uh, we need a subsurface generator around, or a subsurface heater around that. So there you go. Now, of course, it's not going to matter until we get more water going, which will happen eventually. I'm more worried about what happens when the dust is over. We're just barely eking out the amount of water we needed. And I don't know. I don't know if we have the surplus needed for this. This storm is tricky. Electrostatic doesn't help either. Reported. Pipe leak reported. Yeah. The extra maintenance here is a killer. An absolute killer. No water anywhere in the grid right now. Most evaporators can't work. The only thing working right now for water is this thing. And it can only pump out so much at a time. Three, in fact, at a time. That's it. Dust storm's starting to go away. Most evaporators can pick up eventually here, but it's going to take a bit. A colonist has died. And he's died. And two have died. My guess from lack of water... I'm really surprised the crops worked out that well, too. Four colonists have died. Holy shit. Yeah, you can leave now. But that was really bad. Crop failure reported. No kidding, crop failure reported. Probably here. Yeah. Soybeans died. That is not a surprise. That could have been 40 food. Could have been wasn't. I mean, you can't really blame the specialist. I mean, now it's a biologist, so it's good. But, or the non-specialist, I should say. You can't really blame the employee. No water. What are you going to do? No water. So, are you filling up? You're idle right now. Yeah. Okay, so I think we need to do this. It costs us two polymers, but I think we need to do it. We're at negative one right now. That is not sustainable, obviously. Oh, hey, passengers are ready. That's, well, guess what, guys? Um, there's four new work spots that weren't available before. This place is without any water. Wow, this is going to be really bad if we can't do this. And some of these new are just... Colonists have arrived. Yeah, that can be bad, too. We don't have enough polymers to make this work. We need more people... We need more uh, more polymers. Heavy load, guys. Sorry. I was wrong to take you off heavy load earlier. I thought we'd be able to just eat through, but we're not going to be able to eat through. We need to be able to go full tilt. And I don't know for how long. But these batteries need to be okay because we rely on these to go through a cold snap. Or to get through a cold snap with no issues. And sadly, we have issues. Um, and we could all die of lack of water. On the upside, it's a quick death. It's only three days. On the downside, that's three days of the worst pain imaginable. It's almost as bad as dying in hunger. Hunger takes, I think, two weeks to die of hunger. 
Something like that. The last few days of those two weeks, you do not want to experience some of the worst pain ever, as your body slowly eats itself. Without water, is still bad. Um, rocking headaches, vision problems, dry mouth, of course. It made me dry just thinking about it. Anomaly found. But at least it's over after three days. For oh, good anomaly. Okay. Um, here, go grab this. You are ready to launch, huh? All right, go for it. Thank you very much. Go back to Earth. I'll probably call you back. Well, hopefully, if we live, we'll call you back. So it's done with all life support, which is bad because people are living here now. This has no water. This is upgraded, but um, okay, water production eight. We're still at negative one. Holy smokes! Okay, so you then upgrade. I don't know, man. There's only so much we're gonna be able to do here, but we've got to upgrade all these guys, I think. The upgrades it by what? Plus fifty percent production. Okay. Yeah. Oh wait, it says, hold on. Water production one? Oh, the hydrogen crew coating is not actually done yet. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so water production is going to be 1.5. That's still not going to be enough. We do need both of these. Okay. Speed three. I mean, got to see what we can do, but I'm really surprised this isn't able to take the load here. Yeah, it's really meant to just kind of augment. Other option would be to build down this way, which we want to do anyway, but well, I guess we can do Vehicle it. Vehicle battery low. The drone hub here, and that'll get us most of the way down. And we'll build another drone hub here, or somewhere where we can build a dome here. Anomaly analyzed. Basically, just start slowly ticking through here. Who has a little battery? Oh, ha. A colonist uh, yeah. has died. Crop failure reported. This is not good. It's gonna die of both hunger and lack of water. Nope, did not want to do that. I want to bring you up here. That was the colony. There it is. Come up here. Recharge. Colonist has died. I'm gonna guess not of natural causes. Yeah, especially if you're inside the dome. Dehydrated. Sorry, Sasha. Which means, of course, the farm is totally failing. Okay, you know what? We're gonna scrap this. Scrap both of these, and I realize there's a risk. But if we scrap both of these, then they're no longer using water. And the idea is that then this water will go to the farm. That's my hope. Because hydroponics sounds like it would use a lot more water than regular farming. I don't know if that's true. It's probably not true. but. Then, theoretically, the botanist will come over here and help with the next harvest as potatoes. If it's potatoes, this would, should just work. That's my hope. It's going to take a while for the moisture wrappers to get the upgrade they want. Because the polymers have to go to the batteries, but I don't know what the priority is. It's going to be tight. It's definitely going to be tight. Hey, what do you know? Still lack of water. Okay. Could just scrap all of these. It's dangerous as all hell. We could do it. No, I'm scrapping this one. Dangerous as all hell, man. But I'm hoping that will help with the water, maybe? So it all goes to the farm. I don't think it's working. Yeah, insufficient water. We're getting one, we need 2.2. Okay, if we can upgrade these. We're making one polymer per, what the hell is that polymer going to? It's gotta be going to the... Yeah, it's... okay, there we go. Getting there. Water production 8.5, it needed 8.8. .8. We're getting there. 
upgrade this one and we might be good. This is out of power. No problem. We can bring in this guy and jump you. Pass for power. Get there. Sorry, man. I didn't realize you were in the cold. That probably decreased your power by quite a bit. Okay. Well, these drones are ready. Um, Alright. And then build me another drone hub. Say here. Are Earth -sick colonists. Oh, you can't, though. Can you? We don't have a universal... Okay, hold on. Universal Depot, like, here? And theoretically, some things would be transferred by this drone hub. Yeah, I mean, it'll take a little bit, but yes. So give me like, five each of these here. We don't need the fuel, we don't need the rare metals. Sector we might need spent. the machine parts, and we might need other things, so... Actually, no polymers for now. Everything else we might need. And the idea is to slowly come down here and build there, but I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know, okay. Yeah, they're filling up the Universal Depot. Thank you, guys. Just gotta make the chain. That's all we gotta do is make the chain. And we can build pipe going down here to get this water. And build a dome here, we'll get some rare metals, we can get some electronics built, it'll be great. It'll be fantastic. The water is our main concern now. This crop is gonna fail. I don't know, we have a lot of botanists in, on the job right now. It could be okay. Are you done? You upgraded? You upgraded or you upgraded? You're not. High priority, please. I have no idea if that works, what that does. How often it's serviced, probably not how often it's upgraded. We're only 0.3 down though. If we can just decrease our water consumption by just a little bit. Uh, well, water spire or a uh, action spire could help with that. I don't know, man. It's worth trying, at least. Yeah, that could maybe help. We're going to build it there anyway, because it's theoretically going to be our farm dome. I don't know. Maybe. It's also possible everyone could starve to death. That's also an issue. Drone hubs are working. Drone hubs are working. I don't know, I might have done this too late. This might be the death of the colony. This might... I'm going to extend the uh, length of this episode just a little bit. This colony ends up dying. I would hate for that to happen like five minutes into the next episode. So we'll probably go a full hour here. Of course, we have nobody working in the polymer factory anymore. Why the hell not? I have no idea. You guys are officers, aren't you? No, you're scientists. In the research lab. I guess that makes sense. What are you doing? You're a non-specialist. You can tell by the blue. I would call in more people, but that would actually just doom them to die here. I don't want to do that. Because they will die. If they don't die of dehydration, they'll die of hunger. Well, I mean, I'm trying, man. I'm trying my best here. Trying to make this work. Getting a drone that's... Okay, yeah, you're not doing anything, are you? Nope. We're waiting for this to fill up. We need the electronics to build this. Electronics and the metal. The metal should be... This is why we need shuttles, too. I think this colony is going to do a slow death here. We don't have the water. We don't have the polymers. Time flies. The day of the final mission evaluation is drawing near. Yeah, it's never going to happen. It's probably... That's due to the sponsor, by the way. The sponsor changes what the evaluation criteria is. So for Russia, it's 
give me some more rare metals scanned, that I didn't realize. Found. I don't know that we can do anything about this. Oh, right, you need to transfer power. You should have done that already. Are you up? You're not up. What the hell? Transfer power. Control. Click. Are you transferring power right now? It says empty battery. Why are you not transferring power to this guy? Control. Click. You're surrounding it, but... Okay, how about this? Not recharge yourself, but... Are you not able to transfer power? What the hell is happening here? He's rotating around him. Um, I keep clicking on him to transfer power. I hear... I hear something going on, but I don't know what it is. Maybe it just takes time? There's no indication that any transfer of power is happening here. Transfer power, please. What the actual hell is going on here? I mean, his power went down a little bit, but... It should be ticking up, and it's not. I have no idea. I thought they could jumpstart each other. It says transfer power, like that's the thing that can actually happen. But just being nearby, I don't think it's going to work. What the actual hell is going on? If I have to strand both my guys out here, that's going to be going. That's going to be really bad news for all of us. I need that freaking research, obviously. It should be. Charging, I don't know what's wrong with that. Oh, wait, did that did it happen? Holy moly, yes, it did. Okay, that's great. I don't know if it's gonna be enough, but it could be, especially with the water tower here. That might succeed. We're gonna wait and see. If that succeeds and gives us 52 food, that would be great. We just have to wait. It should be like another day, right? Um, time until next harvest. Yeah, zero souls. So this today, it's going to happen. We're going to watch this tick. Tricky as all hell, man. Then we can call in more people. More people are going to use more water. That's definitely true. But, I mean, there's only so much we can do with the amount of people we have right now. Once this ticks, once this happens, then we can knock down the other hydroponic farm, which will, again, save more water. The water reclamation tower will save another bit of water. It'll just be a good time. Oh, what the actual hell? Are Research you kidding me? Complete. Time till next harvest is supposed to be zero. I realize we just got shuttles, and that's good news if we can build them. It takes polymers to build them, I bet you. I bet you money. I bet you Sector solid money. Scanned. Shuttle hub requires 15 polymers. We can't do it. We can't do it. Yeah, I know you're low on food, man. Come on. Cold wave approaching. Oh, of course, a cold wave is approaching. Come on, you can do it. Then, of course, it's not going to be harvested until tomorrow. Frel. All right, all right. You're out of power, though. Are you charging, or are you just low on power? I can't. I don't understand this. This is supposed to be working. It seems like there's a momentary transfer of power. You see that, like, electric shock thing? I thought there was an electric shock thing. Maybe I'm just making it up. It says it's idle. It should say transferring power if it's actually, you know, transferring power. Okay, how about this? Go over here. Then transfer power. Maybe I just needed to 
No, it still says idle. I mean, I can't scrap you, though, because... Well, one... I don't want to. And I don't know what the hell... This is supposed to be transferring power to each other, but I can't seem to do it. I don't know. Oh, wait. We got 34 food somewhere. Is that actually it? It did work. It wasn't as much as I wanted, but it worked. We're gonna live. We're totally gonna live. Alright. I have no idea what happened to the drone. Which means we're on our own for research. It goes hang around, which is good. But it's dead in the water, and I thought we could just transfer power to it, but apparently not for some reason. I have no idea. So, we gotta bring this guy back. We recharged. And I guess we'll just leave it out there to supply the 100 research, and that's all it's gonna do. That sucks, because that's how we get our get our everything. Shoot. We also have a polymer problem. That's going to be an issue during the next cold wave. Though maybe not as much because we have the machine parts? I don't know. This is built. Which means we can build this. So of course it doesn't require polymers. Or electronics for that matter. Uh, that'd be less important. Water structure requires machine parts. We can totally do that. Machine parts and electronics, easy. Of course, we need to bring everything down here, but that's doable. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do that. What the hell? Okay. But that'll be next episode. So now you're watching. This has been Surviving Mars. It looks like we're eking out. Barely there. I'm PC Universe, you're PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.